what's happening fellas feast your eyes on this classic and i use that word feast uh kind of tongue-in-cheek because i was reading the harley davidson brochure that came with this that's the same exact words that harley used in the in the brochure for this bike this is um this is i'm ken senior i'm the owner of the new england motorcycle museum the largest motorcycle museum in new england we've had thousands of motorcycles come through here i'm somewhat of a harley iron head aficionado i love these iron heads i have since since the the 70s our actual company logo on the back of my shirt here is the 77 XLCR Cafe Racer. Same engine as this. Same XR750 Harley Davidson inspired frame section on this bike. I'm also a judge. I've judged multiple motorcycle shows for the Antique Motorcycle Club of America and also here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. And I probably looked at more motorcycles. There's very few men alive that have studied the motorcycle with as much obsession as I have. And if you know me, you know that's true. I don't drink, I don't do drugs. I've been a bike week in Daytona 31 years in a row, never missed it. And my hobby is to ride around looking at all the motorcycles. There's a half a million motorcycles there every year. I've seen tens of millions of motorcycles. This one right here stands out as on the podium of the most, first of all, it's, it's a, as near as I can tell, a hundred point correct original with 1,892 original miles with every piece of documentation that came from the factory, including the original bill of sale, a copy of the original title, and all of the literature that they give you from the factory. Everything on this bike is original. There's nothing repainted, nothing repolished, nothing replated, nothing replaced. Only the oils, the fluids, the gas, and of course the battery. Even the tires on this bike. Now the original owner knew he was gonna keep it for a lifetime, which he did. And it is on display here at the New England Motorcycle Museum along with my cafe racer. We've restored a lot of vintage iron heads. They're all on our channel and a lot of shovel heads, pan heads. We just did a knuckle recently. And to get a bike that has the, come around this side right here. I wish we had a better mic because it's a little noisy and windy. Sorry about that. But look at the look at the finish on, on the iron head. The original clear coat is still intact on the heads. The black coating on the original ham can is perfect. The decals are perfect. As close to perfect as humanly possible, as is the original coating, the wrinkle black finish on the engine, the chrome on the push rods, and the factory exhaust is all intact. This bike is all original and it's absolutely pristine. It has the original chain and sprocket, and I was just noticing the gleam on the or original finish on the sprocket, the original chain. Like I said, everything is original on this bike, even this tool pouch on the back of the saddle you'll see in the brochure that was a, this is the xls 1000 roadster the roadster had a bigger gas tank the buckhorn barns it had the eagle at goodyear raised white letter tires on it it had two types of rims it had a spoke rim and had an upgrade to the cast mag rims which you see here these are the, the mag rims and I rode the bike, Uncle Dale, who's owned literally hundreds of bikes, just sold a collection of 300 bikes himself. Um, Junior's ridden a whole bunch of bikes. The three of us rode it, and what, what the common remark we had was how smooth and vibration-free it is for a V-twin. That's the function of everything being super tight and original and intact, including the exhaust system. Very, very little vibration, very smooth. It shifts like a new bike, it runs like a new bike, it looks like a new bike and it's got this gorgeous sterling silver original factory paint job on it um, this is in my opinion the finest harley davidson that we have here at the museum it is on display at the museum um, it is for sale if you're interested in buying it give us a call 860-454-7024 um, we've got a, a collection of iron heads already including my, my cafe racer i can't keep them all and we don't have the budget to keep this one. If you buy it and you want to leave it on display in the museum, we'd be honored to have it here. Look at the finish, the original aluminum on the on the uh, headlight protector, the original decal on the, the, the two-tone paint job. Look at the gauges. Zoom in on these gauges, Junior, and, and take a look. The This has been protected from UV, stored indoors in the guy's living room. There's no degradation of quality. They haven't been frozen and heated and uh, they haven't been um, uh, out in, in, in the sunlight getting, uh, uh, you know, usually they're usually they're all cracked in there. There's bugs in there and they're, I mean, to find one this nice is just absolutely unheard of. So I have every piece of documentation on this bike I'm gonna show you. 
These are our factory original highway pegs that came from the factory. The Roadster came loaded with a custom saddle, the two-tone paint, the mag wheels, the, 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 the triple disc brakes, the XR750 rear frame piece, the highway pegs, the black wrinkle, clack, uh, wrinkle black finish, and the anodized engine covers. Uh, just freaking gorgeous, all original. I'll show you the docks in a second, but before I do that, what I wanna do is do a little road ride demonstration for you. So let's go for a quick ride. We're riding two up on this thing, and it's just, guys, it's like a time capsule. It's like a time machine. You, you'd have to, you'd have to go back. Listen, I pulled brand new Harley Davidsons out of the crate. Brand new 95th anniversary Harley Davidson out of the crate. They had more patina on them, i.e., the uh, finish on the forks in the clear coat was cracking because it was put in an area that was hot and cold. This was in, in basically indoor heated and cooled storage its whole life, so it doesn't have that patina that you get on a, on a 40 year old bike. But it, it's a time capsule, truly. quiet with the stock pipes. Guys, call the shop line with any questions, 860-454-7024. We can ship it anywhere in the States inexpensively. Message your zip code on eBay for a shipping quote. We also finance through Freedom Road. Call and ask for Ken Kaplan Jr., that's me, to get pre-approved. Do a quick pre-app. You just set up with those guys up to the buy it now price. When this bike came in, it came in off the truck looking much like it does now. And it fired right up and ran beautifully. And it's probably the smoothest iron head I've ever ridden. Super impressed with this bike. Our Uncle Dale's in town this week and he had a moment. I said, Dale, take this thing for a ride. He said the same thing. It's, they're not all created equal. There are production tolerances. We talk about that often in the shop. This is a special bike super special machine. Not a single fart from the stock carburetor runs perfectly. It's, it's quite the machine, to say the least. You guys, based on my my knowledge in my history of motorcycles and my history of uh, the knowledge of Harley Davidson, especially the Ironhead, I'm gonna say that this is the finest Roadster, original, 100% original, right down to that tires, Roadster in existence today. I don't think Willie G. Davidson has one this nice in his museum. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that. If there is a finer one, tag a video in the comments of that motorcycle with video proof and I'll believe it, but I have not seen anything this nice and this original. I think Willie G might have a pretty nice one if I were to, to guess, but Honestly, uh, this is as I mean, nice as they come, quite frankly. You think Willie G might have a, a roadster in the museum uh, this I, nice? I, I, Maybe. I, I think that they probably have a brand new one in the Harley Davidson Museum, but who's to say? <laughs> if they do, God bless them. But, it might be. Uh, it, it, well, it, let me, if they do, it's not for sale, that's for sure. This one's for sale because we don't have a massive corporation back on us. It's, it's, it's you and me and 18 guys buying and selling bikes here every day that keeps the largest motorcycle museum in, the, in New England, uh, 40,000 square foot full of bikes up and running. Um, it's a $7 million investment, not including the motorcycles and 11 acres and all the buildings. So we have a huge overhead here. And uh, that's why this is for sale. This would not, absolutely would not be for sale. I'd move a bike or two out and keep this one in the inventory. Uh, but um, it's not going to be cheap, but it, it's it's worth it. What we're going to ask for it, and it will be auctioned off to the highest bidder with a reasonable reserve. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at eight six zero four five four seven zero two four. Anytime Monday through Friday, we have financing available too. Now, if you buy this bike, go and buy a new Road Glide for forty thousand dollars, and in fifteen years, that bike's going to be worth ten grand. Next year, it'll be worth thirty. You're going to lose lose your ass. Uh, buy a classic like this, it's going up in value every day. This is an investment quality classic, the finest 
in its category. It's it's the finest roadster, original roadster I've ever seen. The color combo, everything on it. Let's go inside. I'll show you the documentation. It, it is of all the thousands of motorcycles we bought and sold here, in the hundreds that are on display in the museum, it is the most fully documented. I do not. I've never seen a motorcycle with more documentation than this one in Providence. Why? Because it doesn't exist. It has everything that you'd expect, including a copy of the original title in the original pink slip. It's all there. So I could go on all day. Um, the way it rides, the fit and finish, the clarity of the gauges. Bike space for itself. So I can shut my, uh, my pie hole and show you the docks. XLCR Cafe Eraser, uh, same rear frame pieces on the Roadster, all black, beautiful piece. Um, but back to the Roadster here. Uh, this is this is actually much nicer. Much I asked Christy, I said maybe we should sell my Cafe Eraser and keep the Roadster, but um, it's our company logo, so we can't do it. This is actually in much better condition than not that my cafe. Everything's wrong with my Cafe Eraser, but I don't have all the docs on that. Um, I don't have the copy of the title. It's not all original. Uh, it's been repainted in a couple spots. This one is the real deal. Come on over here, let me show you what, what we've got here. I've got the original business card from the sales guy, John Cook, from Cookies Sales and Service, Harley Davidson Authorized Dealer, July 23rd, 1981. Uh, the bike was $4,644. Um, I have the original. Uh, plastic sheeting that the business card and pink slip were in. I've got a copy, or not a copy, I've got the original pink slip showing $4,644. I've got the original Harley Davidson warranty registration sheet. I've got the current Ohio title in addition to the copy of the original title. I've got the Harley Davidson owner warranty identification card, the original one from 1981. Uh, I've got the, um, there's two of them actually, R. Parazon. Parizan was, a, was the uh, uh, guy who bought the bike brand new and kept it all these years. I've got the original 18, 1981 owner's manual, the copy of the title right here. I've got the uh, just be, just, documentation. Just to be clear, the latest title is free and clear. Yep, and I've got the latest, uh, uh, the latest I've got the original 40-year-old um, documentation before riding the motorcycle for the first time. I have an official factory Harley-Davidson Genuine service manual from 79 to 81 that came with the bike new. I've got the riding tips for motorcyclists, the AMA motorcyclist card, the consumer data card, the motorcycle safety and maintenance check guide. And I've got the 1981 full model lineup V-twin that he got from the dealer in 1981 motorcycle catalog. And it shows on the inside the 81 Roadster. And it says, only Harley can turn iron into precious metal. Roadster, put your money into silver. Buy a thousand cc's of prime custom Roadster and one investment you can cash in on every day. And like all Harleys, if you ever want to sell, it's like money in the bank. Just check the used Harleys in the want ad section. And think about it, this bike's got a current retail value at least four times more than what it originally was worth new out the door. Um, it reads like the financial page, but all that comes later. One reason Roadster holds its value is because it looks like a million bucks to start with. Feast your eyes. Remember I said feast your eyes? They said feast your eyes. Begin with the classic laced wheel out front. Or imagine the nine spoke cast wheel in its place, which this one has the upgraded from the factory. That was an option. You could buy them from the factory with the upgraded cast iron ones. Then move up the extended front forks. And the forks are 
two inches longer than a normal sports that they are extended to the new pullback buckhorn handlebars and then you lean back and kick your feet up on the factory original highway pegs and become a part of the low laid back look but the riding position is the only thing laid back as you can see there's a new winged harley tank design over the silver metallic and black enamel now moving close to the black wrinkle finish on selected parts surrounding the massive v-twin engine Notice the new ribbed primary chain cover. Move on to the custom split seat with the sissy bar, backrest, and stash pouch. Like I said, that was original. Underneath, you'll find the 16-inch fat rear tire inside the XR750 type race frame rear section. And that's just the beginning. What you can't see are the exclusive Harley-Davidson staggered shorty duels. They're on the other side. And you can't see the pride that comes with owning a roadster. That's on the inside. But undoubtedly, you're, you're beginning to see why only Harley could turn all this iron into precious metal. And if so, you've begun to understand why the Roadster is more than a machine. This thing's legit all the way down to the uh, the back pad there. It's 100% huh? original. Dude. It's a 100 point original in absolutely pristine condition. I didn't mention that our resident Harley expert, Lance Merton, who is a Harley Davidson PhD, means he, he's an engineer. He uh, uh, has an engineering degree and went to the Harley Davidson training school and is a certified PhD Harley also set the land world speed record on a, on a sportster powered Buell that he built himself and piloted. The guy's an amazing me mechanic. He did what we call a full preservation service on the bike. So we have full documents, full provenance, and it's been given a full preservation service. What is that? Well, the front brake fluid needs to be changed. So this was changed, uh, flushed, and bled out. The gas tank was drained and cleaned on the inside. The carburetor was removed, cleaned. The gaskets were replaced. The jets were cleaned. The original air filter is intact and in mint condition. The engine oil and the gearbox oil were changed. Uh, the battery is brand new. The chain was cleaned and oiled. The rear brake fluid was flushed and refilled. So all the fluids have been changed, but all the components on the motorcycle are original as stated. So then it went to the detail shop where it was given a complete, what we call a rotisserie detail uh, steam cleaned, uh, carefully hand washed, no power washing at all. Um, bike looked just like this when we got it. We just did a, a, what we call a, a rotisserie detail before bikes put in the museum. It was hand washed, hand waxed, cleaned, and the chrome was polished. The bike is absolutely perfect. I want to show, show them some details. Like guys on the switch housings, these are usually completely worn off. They look like they're out of the box. As my pops mentioned, the gauges are crystal clear. And coming over back, especially the rear mag, because not only does the uh, there's a raw finish patina over time, but these wheels weren't repainted, guys. This is this bike is just perfect. The tire, the, there's no. I've I've seen five year old tires that have dry rot and checking on them. I don't know what it is about these good years, how they survive the, the test of time. Proper storage. Yeah, uh, it's never been uh, underside of the fender. Um, look at the bottom of the engine. Look at the bottom of the engine on this thing and the frame rails. We usually do this with dirt bikes. We don't always do it with Harleys, but the frame rails are freaking perfect. Like it just came out of the, out of the factory. It has the original zip ties uh, where they belong. It, like I said, uh, there's no, no oil leaks. Uh, it's just the motor mounts, everything on it. The pegs, there's no wear on any of the wear points. The, the ignition cover, the original factory ignition cover is absolutely perfect. Look this is the metal on the rear brake. This this is this is irreplaceable. It's irreplaceable. You, you, the, you, you couldn't find an iron head and restore it to this because it wouldn't be the original. It wouldn't be original. It would it'd be a restored bike. This is a carefully preserved, 100% original classic, and yeah. it's the most desirable Sportster of that. It was the most expensive Sportster of that era. No pitting on the fork tubes. Right. Zero. Guys, come to, come down to the museum and check this thing out. We could oogle over it together. Yeah, there's this is this is no there's no disappointments on this one. That's for sure. It's exactly what what uh, we said it is, and I, I have not seen a finer forty year old mint. Uh, mint is, is is if you look up mint in the dictionary, there's a picture of this should come up. Love the color combos: the silver, the chrome, the black. The beautiful original factory saddle even has the uh, passenger grab strap on here. That, that stuff's usually lost you know, with the uh, ides of time, but it's all here. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-4000.
4547024. This is a profile on this bike. Yep, this is this is a this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You're not going to find a better one. This one's absolutely pristine. It's my favorite. My favorite view of the iron is a profile on the side right here. Just the the looks of the heads and everything. Gorgeous piece. Thanks for watching so far. Hit the like and subscribe and uh, call us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. God bless Harley Davidson and God bless America.